On this episode, I teach you how to solve the windmill puzzle. It's a fun little 3x3 shape-shifting mod. Um, stay tuned and watch how. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over the windmill cube, uh, the one that I just unboxed from the cubicle. I, I will say, having this puzzle, I really do enjoy it. You know, it's a 3x3 mod. You know, it's a shape-shifting puzzle as well. So it's just, it looks cool when it's scrambled up and um, it's really simple to solve, especially if you understand the basic method um, for solving a 3x3 puzzle. There are some additional steps like, you know, these centers right here are obviously, you know, angled, whereas these top two right here are fixed. So it doesn't make a difference on, you know, which side you have it on, it'll always be the same. So the best, the, the, the reason why that's important is that you all, you know, these can be in any direction, but these can be uh, oriented when you are doing your top cross. So with that said, um, I will go into that in more detail, but go ahead and follow along. I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this bad boy up. So with that said, let's get cracking. All right, so now that we have this puzzle all scrambled up, it's time to solve this top white cross. In the, like the step I was referring to when you have to kind of get these um, center pieces turned in the correct road, correct you know orientation where they're like facing the correct look, correct way, you know this top and this bottom never change. So that's just two out of the six you have to just not worry about. So in this case, I'm going to be bringing this all the way around till I find the pink. Well, in this case, the edge is slanted this way and this one is slanted downward. So I need this to be changed so where it's rotated that way. So I'm gonna bring this out. I'm gonna rotate this and I'm gonna bring it in. And now it's all correctly in place. Ain't no thing. Next one we're gonna, gonna wanna do, let's just do the screen one. I can rotate it in place like that. So now that's, that's in the correct placement. Unfortunately, this isn't. So I'm gonna just kind of rotate this one out I'll rotate this one 180 degrees to where it's all the way backwards and bring this piece back in. So now we have these two are in place and their centers are faced correctly. Uh, next one, let's go ahead and do the orange one here since this is kind of, so I can bring it down since I'm gonna be bringing it up again. Well, this one, again, facing the wrong way. So let's just have this one up here. Let's go ahead and bring this thing the center towards facing downward. Now it's slanted downward, and I can bring this up, and we're good. Well, the last but not least is the blue. Well, the blue is already in place, so let's go ahead and get this thing rotated. Um, how I how I would do this is we know it needs to be facing this way, so it's going to be rotating it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this piece up like that. And now this is gonna come down, so I'm gonna be rotating it over again. There we go. And now we're in place. All of these centers are now facing the correct location, and now we have our top cross. So again, you know, this step is obviously fairly intuitive. You know, there isn't really any straightforward algorithm to get this top cross in line, and get these centers to be in the same alignment. So again, that's fairly intuitive. So if you don't really understand it, I would just start playing with it more. That way you can be more comfortable with the windmill puzzle. Um, so now let's go ahead and get these corner pieces in place. Well, it looks like these are all kind of up here already. So I need to get those out. But first things first, let's just go ahead and stick with what we have. So we have this white piece here. It needs to go right there. It's gonna be an easy little, you know, R prime, D prime, R move, just to get that up there which took this out of place, which is great, because now we have another R prime, D prime, R move, getting that in place there. And this one's already pushed over. So let's go ahead and just swoop it back around. Another, another uh, uh, R prime, D prime, R move. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and take this one out because it needs to be rotated. So we'll just do a simple one right. I, well, again, for me, keeping it simple for here, let's just get it out of here ever get it out and we'll do another R prime D prime R move and there you have it this whole top layer is solved with its corresponding centers in the right direction 
Now it's on to middle layer. All right, so in regards to middle layering, um, here's a little trick with this. So for instance, this piece needs to go right here, regardless. Well, depending on what side, how, how this is facing, you're gonna start either on the, on the right side or the left side of it. If this is facing this way, to where it's like a, kind of like a slower slant, it's gonna be to the, to the uh, right side of where it needs to be placed. And if it's faced more like this, where it's like kind of a longer, more, you know, slant, it's gonna be on the left side of it. So I'm sure I'll show you both scenarios. So for instance, it's over here. And again, view the cube, don't look like, don't hold the cube like this, because this is obviously a slanted puzzle. So this is the cross, this is how the cube needs to be held. So again, this piece is over here to the right side of that. So it's gonna be going, again, right. So going right, it's gonna be this algorithm. It's going to be D, L, D prime, L prime, D prime, F prime, if I could return it, there we go, D, F, there we go. And now it's all in place. And we're gonna do that a few more times. Let's go ahead and find, there's the blue one right there. So in this case, which way do I put it? It's a longer slant, so it's gonna be over on this side, not on this side. So I'm gonna be going this way, so I'm gonna be going to the left. So going left, it's gonna be a D prime, R prime, D, R, D, I'm gonna return it, F, D prime, F prime. And now that's in place. Again, the longer slant here. Let's go ahead and get it in place. So it's gonna be again, D prime. I can never get these aligned. D prime, R prime, D, R, D, F, D prime. There we go, F prime. I'm not gonna lie, uh, as much as this puzzle is fun, it is very difficult to uh, sometimes hold it. I mean, I would say the trick for me is, is again, holding it and, and just remembering that the puzzle is angled like this, as opposed to this. This is so much more comfortable for me. You know, it's where if I was having, you know, my three by three here, you know, I'm, I'm just so used to this, this, these maneuvers right here. So again, getting used to this, it's just a little bit more, you know, getting used to pieces that are kind of sticking out of nowhere and it is what it is. So last but not least, we have the green piece. Again, it's facing more downward, so it's not gonna be over here, it's gonna be over here. So not here, but over here. So holding it like that, another going to the left move. So it's gonna be that D prime, R prime, D, R, D, F, D prime, there we go, and F prime. Now it's all in place. Now it's time for the bottom layer here. All right, so since you have uh, these first two layers solved, um, it's time to solve the last layer. I actually find that it's easier to just solve it like um, like a basic, the basic method of a three by three. Um, it's way easier, honestly, these pieces are sticking out everywhere. For me, it's just way easier than OLL and PLL, um, just in my opinion. You might have a different opinion, but if you're just trying to solve this puzzle and get it done, not super quick, um, this is a great method to learn. So again, holding the L, and the, this little, either you're gonna have a dot, an L, a bar, or a full cross. In this case, I have an L. So I'm gonna hold it to where it's in the upper left-hand corner here. And just like this, I'm gonna go F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now I have this bar. Now, either direction I wanna hold it. In this case, I'm gonna hold it to where, you know, it's, it's like this still. And I'm gonna do the exact same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now I have this full cross. All right, so now that we have our, top, our bottom, you know, yellow cross all solved, now it's time to align these edges 
edge pieces with their centers. So I'm gonna go ahead and look around to see if I can find two pieces that are aligned. So I'm gonna rotate it and I see that uh, blue and orange um, do. So I wanna get these, these two uh, edge pieces swapped. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to keep these pieces out of the way. I'm going to be focusing on just these and I'm gonna go R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U prime. And now they're all in the correct place. All right, so this step is going to be um, essentially orienting all of these corner pieces. Um, the last step is gonna be obviously permutating them. And this one's already in the correct orientation, just not rotated correctly. So I'm gonna hold this piece, even though it's not correctly, you know, solved, it's placed properly. I'm gonna hold it to the bottom right and I'm gonna perform this algorithm. I'm gonna go L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, U prime. So now that actually got everything where it needed to be. So the green's in place properly. Orange is, is here in the correct place. Blue is in the correct place and so is pink. Now it's time just to solve this bad boy. All right, so finishing this puzzle, I'm gonna take the salt, the piece that I have solved completely it's in its correct placement and in, in its correct orientation, and it's going to be in the bottom uh, left-hand corner here. So again, looking at the cross like this, this is the bottom left-hand corner. Holding it like this, I'm gonna perform this maybe a few times. So it's gonna be R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, it's gonna be over here now, I'm not changing anything. It's gonna be L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L. So that just basically put this in here in the correct placement. Let's go ahead and do it again. All right, so let's go ahead and keep this here and do the same thing over and again. It's gonna be R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, and then hold it over here again and go L prime, U2, and it's gonna be L, U, L prime, U, L. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. So in this case, I'm gonna hold this entirely solved edge here, and I'm gonna go over here now. It's gonna be R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, and I'm gonna go L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L. Now it's all solved. All right, so thank you for watching this uh, walkthrough on the windmill puzzle. It's a, you know, begin the shape-shifting three by three mod. Uh, it's a fun puzzle to solve. I recommend getting one from the cubicle. It was a cool place uh, to shop. And uh, again, the puzzle is very fun to solve. It's gonna be fun to take it traveling, especially. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I love going on planes, and um, and wrote and, sh and shuffling up, you know, these shape shifting puzzles and having people next to me just kind of like, how do you solve that? And so it's fun to kind of show and you know show off your skills to uh, to the masses. So either way, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials, more unboxings. Uh, more things through the pipeline. Uh, this is my 81st video, so it's crazy to watch this channel grow to this point, and uh, just more great things coming through the pipeline. So I didn't want to. I just want to get this out there to again show how to walk through the windmill puzzle. If there was ever any question for it, um, I'm expect. I, I pretty much assume that most people know how to solve a three by three if they're watching this channel. If not, um, and this is your first time watching it, I hope this was helpful. There are more great videos. Um, that I, I have. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. It helps me out. I love watching the subscriptions grow. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns about this solve or future solves or future things you want to see me do, uh, please put that in the comments as well. So with that said, uh, have a great day and happy new